After his baptism in the Jordan River, Jesus, filled with the Holy Spirit, was led into the wilderness. For forty days, he roamed the barren landscape, fasting and praying, preparing himself for the mission ahead. His body grew weak from hunger, but his spirit remained resolute and steadfast. As the days passed, Satan, the deceiver, saw an opportunity to exploit Jesus' physical vulnerability. He approached Jesus and, with a cunning voice, said, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. The temptation was clear. Use divine power to satisfy personal need. But Jesus, unwavering in his purpose, answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. His reply echoed the deep truth that spiritual nourishment far outweighs physical sustenance. Undeterred, Satan took Jesus up to a high place and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in an instant. I will give you all their authority and splendor, Satan promised, for it has been given to me, and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus stood firm, his voice strong and unwavering. It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. In a final attempt, Satan led Jesus to Jerusalem and had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus, filled with divine authority, responded, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. With these words, Satan's temptations were defeated. He departed from Jesus, waiting for another opportune time. And Jesus, having triumphed over temptation, returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, ready to begin his ministry and fulfill his mission on earth.